Since we're in Tennessee, today's show is going to be all about Tennessee-inspired food. And the number one thing I've noticed since we've moved here is... Hot chicken. Hot chicken. <laughs> so I didn't even that. really know what hot chicken was, but essentially it's just a spicy chicken and usually it's fried, breaded, and sometimes served on a sandwich. So that's what we're going to start with today. It's on every single menu down here in the south, and so I thought I'd put a healthier spin on it. So we're going to start with our breading ingredients, which is a teaspoon each of salt, garlic powder, paprika, and then we have one and a half cup of oat flour that we're going to bread the chicken in, and then we have some hot sauce, an egg, and a cup of buttermilk, and then about a pound or so of chicken. So we're gonna start by making the breading. Okay. Sean, you can get started on that. Okay. And I'm gonna start by pounding out some of the chicken breasts. So Sean, let's tell everybody about our adventure here. <laughs> it's quite the journey. Here to Tennessee, from Michigan to Tennessee, and kind of why we decided to move here. Well, uh, I've wanted to move here for a long time, and, and I think, um, you know, over the last couple of years, you've kind of gotten on board, and uh, one of the biggest reasons we wanted to move here was church, and I feel like God called us down here, and we didn't fully know what that looked like, um, but we just trusted that he would provide and trusted that he would make a way for us to come down here, and here we are. Yeah, and we came and we visited, I'd say, was it two or three times? Yeah, I think it was two times, yeah. Yeah, twice, um, just on a trip. We kind of just started uh, checking out some different areas and, you know, we really felt that God was calling us to Tennessee because like Sean mentioned, he kind of just knew since really oh, we, got, we first got married. Yeah, I found an old journal from 2009 uh, and one of my goals for 2010 was to move to Tennessee and I, I don't know why I wrote that. Uh, obviously, during prayer, I must have just felt like it was like something I wanted to do. And then I, over time, as we moved uh, to Brighton and got married, it just kind of was like a lost dream or, or a lost purpose, if you will. So. Yeah, and he, you know, Sean was, he came back from, I think, a trip that you took just by yourself, and he shared it with me. And at the time, I totally had a closed heart to it. I was like, no way. I'm not leaving my family. I'm not moving to Tennessee. I said, but if you feel that God put it on your heart, pray for me. And if our hearts ever join together, then we'll know that that's something that God's leading us to. Lo and behold, about two, maybe three years ago, God started to put that tug on my heart to come check it out. So I told him, I said, don't get your hopes up, <laughs> but I'll come visit Tennessee with you. We can go just check it out, but don't get your hopes up. And um, when we came, we both absolutely fell in love. So um, there's been a lot to explore, a lot to learn about. Um, one of the biggest things that's been shocking to me is just how friendly, how polite. Yeah. Everybody calls me ma'am. I'm like, I don't, am I a ma'am? I, I am, I guess I'm a ma'am. Um, but everyone is just so welcoming and warm here. And I think that's been a wonderful, yeah. a wonderful thing to experience. Yeah. So this chicken is pounded out nicely. You don't want it too thin, but you want it all about the even size thickness so it'll cook evenly. So I'm gonna create the other part of the kind of breading, and this is what's gonna help everything stick to that chicken and also tenderize it and give it that spicy kick that we're looking for. So I did one egg and about a tablespoon or more of hot sauce. So this is really to your liking. Now, we're not true Tennesseans yet. Not, not yet. Because we're trying. I don't think I can handle more than a tablespoon of hot sauce. <laughs> Maybe in the future, but not right now. So we're just gonna do about a tablespoon. And um, I'm gonna good. go ahead and mix this up. And then we can dip our chicken in. Okay. Each of these. So, Sean, this? do you want to grab the sheet pan? Okay. Okay, so, Sean, you can go ahead and spray this sheet pan with a little bit of cooking spray. And I do have on a drying rack or a cookie rack, whatever you want to call it, that's kind of sets into the pan. And that's really important because when you make these sandwiches, if you don't have something uh, that's kind of giving 
the heat on both sides of the chicken, then you might want to just flip it halfway through because you want both sides of the chicken to be crispy. And if you just cook the top and the bottom is sitting on a pan, it will get soggy underneath. Nobody likes Good tip. soggy chicken. Okay, so in order to bread this, I'm just gonna dip the chicken in the wet and then into the dry. And we're gonna get this nice and coated. And this is what's gonna make it the crispy chicken sandwich that we all know and love. So Sean, you like spicy chicken sandwiches. Have you had a good chicken sandwich oh, yes. since moving here? I haven't had a bad one yet, but um, definitely the favorite so far has been Puckett's, which everybody told me, you know, would be the best. Which is basically a famous restaurant yeah. in Tennessee. We, the first time we went, we just walked in. Yeah, it was like lunchtime and we thought we would just get a seat. It was like lunch and the lady day. literally laughed at us. She was like, <laughs> oh, you don't just get a seat at Puckett's. And we were like, oh, okay, sure. we're new here. So um, yes, it's all over Tennessee. I, I think it's just in Tennessee, um, Puckett's, but it's a famous restaurant here and they're famous for their chicken. Yeah. Delicious chicken. And so what we'll else has been, compares. what else has been a favorite of yours since we, I really love our neighborhood. We have, we have a community pool that we love to visit with the kids, and uh, it's got ama like just amazing neighbors. We actually met some neighbors from Michigan, so it kind of made us yes. feel right at home. But. Yeah, and it's been so fun to just take walks in our new neighborhood. And we're homebodies at heart. That's just our nature. So just taking a walk around our neighborhood and meeting new people in our neighborhood has been like the most fun thing. Yeah, we've had Most people brunch. would, you know, adventure everywhere. And we, of course, have stayed at like the same three restaurants <laughs> and we take walks in our neighborhood and that's adventure for us. So, but we're loving it here so far. So this spicy chicken is going to go into the oven, as you can tell. The oven is preheated for us and it's going to cook 425 degrees for about 20 minutes and you will want to check it with the meat thermometer. Depending on your chicken thickness, this is one that you really will have to just check. It might need a little bit more time depending. So 165 degrees or more, you'll know it's safe to eat. Then we are going to make some coleslaw to go with it and we're going to serve it up on some buns and it's going to be the best sandwich ever.